M240 machine gun is said to be a one-man weapon. Its main advantage is that all bullets hit one target with its maximum range up to two kilometers. My name is Daniel Salem, you're watching War is Algebra and today we're talking about machine guns. Watch this. A machine gun is a support automatic firearm that can be both individual and group based. This weapon is designed to hit targets with bullets, including various ground, surface, and airborne targets. There are four types of machine guns, handheld, aviation, mounted, and tank mounted. In heavy machine gun, the Browning M2, which has been used in various modifications since 1920 and currently. It is operated by almost 40 countries worldwide. The Ukrainian army also uses it. Its effective firing range is typically 1800 to 2000 meters. However, there is the capability of firing in a lofted trajectory from concealed positions. There is confirmed information of engagements at distances of 3.5 kilometers, hitting the target. Exact mathematics. Our topic. But this requires skill and a drone spotter for correction. Browning M2, caliber 12.7 by 99 millimeters, length 1,653 millimeters, barrel length 1,143 millimeters, eight grooves right hand twist, rate of fire 450 to 575 rounds min, muzzle velocity 898 meters per second, weight 38.2 kilograms without ammunition. Our machine gun operates due to the short recoil of the barrel. Unlike the rest of our small arms where gas operation is utilized. This machine gun, relying on short recoil, propels the bolt through movable parts. It moves to the rearward extreme position and completes the entire cycle, ejection, reloading, and feeding of the belt into the machine gun. The machine gun has two modes, single and automatic. Currently, it is set to single mode. You can see there is a manual charger. I am pressing it now. It forces the bolt carrier into the forward-most position before firing. These two levers are the trigger levers. We use them when we need to shoot directly. Yes, those two. Before firing, when it's set to single mode, we first manually charge it. But be careful, charge it from the top, using a finger, so as not to accidentally press the trigger. Right now, it's unsafe. To switch the firing mode to automatic, we press the charger, press and rotate the buffer. Right now, I'm rotating and the bracket is put on. I press and pull it all the way. Now the machine gun is in automatic mode. Previously, it was used as a precision weapon. Optics were mounted on it. A confirmed result at 2,700 meters with optics. Operated with single shots as a sniper weapon. Watch this. Certainly, simpler to use and more mobile are the machine guns with a lighter weight, around 10 kilograms. In this weight category, the following three models, including the Belgian F and Mag, are considered. <laughs> That's a strong baby. I love that thing. I'm gonna marry it. The Belgian F and Mag is often considered the best in NATO. They are in service with over 80 countries worldwide, including Ukraine. She is the doll. Truly an accurate name for this weapon. The caliber of this mortar is 7.62 millimeters, designed for NATO ammunition with a 51 millimeters casing. It has an initial bullet velocity of over 800 meters. The effective range is 1,200 meters and the maximum range is 1,800 meters. It is a heavy machine gun with a weight of 11 kilograms. To use it more effectively, it needs to be positioned in concealed positions. It can also be mounted on lightly armored vehicles. Intelligent and strategic usage is necessary. 
Clearly, covering a distance of 12 kilometers with it would be challenging. And we need an ammunition belt. Here, it's belt fed. You can shoot continuously, up to 1,000 rounds. Then, you'll need to replace the barrel. It's the same as with other machine guns. FN mag, caliber, 7.62 times 51 millimeters. Initial bullet velocity, 840 meters per second. Effective range, 1,200 meters. Maximum range, 1,800 meters. Barrel length, 630 millimeters. Rate of fire, 600 to 1,000 rounds per minute. Length, 1,263 millimeters. Weight, 11.79 kilograms. This machine gun is of high quality and durability. Yeah, almost like Rambo. Which one? The first or the second part of Rambo? <laughs> the second. <laughs> Watch this. A Bulgarian machine gun. NG, N1. I don't know how this thing works. They say it's good, we're gonna find it out. Where's algebra, baby? Where is algebra? This is the MG1M machine gun with a caliber of 7.62 times 54 millimeters from the Bulgarian company Arsenal. In terms of modifications, they fundamentally changed the barrel, added not only these longitudinal grooves, but also cross-cut ones. This should increase its durability, as the barrel will cool down more quickly during firing. Additionally, they added a plastic handle instead of a wooden one. MG1M, caliber, 7.62x 54mm. Firing mode, automatic, rate of fire, 650 rounds per minute. Practical rate of fire, 250 rounds per minute. Initial velocity, 825 meters per second. Effective range, 1,500 meters. Maximum range, 3,800 meters. Maximum effective range, 1,000 meters. Ammunition capacity, 100 to 100 rounds. Barrel length, 605 millimeters. Sight radius, 663 millimeters. Overall length, 1,160 millimeters. The machine gun falls into the category of light weapons. In my opinion, it is a highly effective weapon. It can effectively engage both enemy infantry and light vehicles, as well as low-flying aerial targets. Nowadays, it is frequently utilized for countering drones. I believe it works effectively up to a range of 1,000 meters. It is accurate enough, delivering a sufficiently concentrated fire, especially if the barrel is not worn out. The machine gun is well sighted. What types of ammunition are there? If we take this ammunition, it's a tracer round. It's used for adjustment and targeting to determine the target. There are also armor-piercing rounds for damaging lightly armored vehicles such as APCs and IFBs. It can handle those. Tracer bullets. Their main purpose is to adjust unit fire during nighttime. These bullets provide a visible indication, allowing for precise coordination and increased accuracy in the unit's shooting. Armor-piercing bullets, designed to engage lightly armored enemy targets, such as APCs, BMPs, and others. There are incendiary bullets, and there are regular bullets, lightweight steel bullets, essentially for infantry. They won't do much against vehicles, but for infantry, it's more than enough. What's the difference in the Bulgarian machine gun? They tried to make a thin whole line that can be the cooling of the system is much more faster. I don't know why they did it, but they did it anyways. Watch this. It doesn't matter which country's machine gun you're using against your enemy. What matters is accuracy. My name is Daniel Salem, and you were watching War is Algebra. See you on the next episode.